So this is the studio at YouTube. Yep, come on in. Can I? Am I? Can okay. I be loud? <laughs> uh, it's soundproof. Oh, perfect. Yes. Yeah. Wow, this is so cool. Yeah, you could feel the difference in the sound, right? It's like uh, it's yeah. much damper. So what exactly happened here? Um, people come here and shoot. Uh, there's different equipment you could take out. Uh, it's interesting because you, you, we want to be as familiar as possible with video. And here's a great place to do that. It, it's amazing. I mean, we have bigger spaces in LA, London, and all these places. And this is more of a uh, mini studio, but it's so cool. Like, it just shows you just how much can go into a video. So this is where all the amazing content is created. Uh, I don't know if all. Like, if you Not all, add, but uh, all add all here. World, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, so cool. But it's very interesting. Like, it's, you know, it's just giving me so much of an appreciation for what happens behind the scenes at a lot of these places because a lot of creators have... You I mean, know, you see the end product, you see the beautiful product, but yeah. you never realize how much work yeah, yeah, and sweat actually goes into just creating 100%, that, right? Yeah, it's yeah, amazing. That's true. I mean, it's creators amazing. Work I mean, hats so hard. off to all creators yeah, for that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So we just finished touring YouTube, which was amazing. I got to have my ice cream. <laughs> Very important. Yep. But now I'm gonna grill John with a few questions. Put me on the hot seat. Here we go. <laughs> So John, tell us about what you do at YouTube. Yeah, totally. So I work on a marketing team here and I work with our creators and influencers to help them grow on the platform and make the most of video and grow big communities. That's amazing. Yeah. And what I have to say is, what I am a fan of, uh, of John is his cartoon series called Every Well that you guys absolutely must check out because it's just that amazing. But John, what I'm curious is that it must be so hard thinking about the content. like. How do you come up with content every time to put it out there? What's yeah. the inspiration behind it yeah. and what's the process like? Yeah, yeah, thanks Nipur. So yeah, Every Vowel is a cartoon series about career advice and just talking about what it's like to work at a company or think about your career differently. It comes out every Monday, but it's hard coming out with ideas every week. And I think one is the commitment. If you tell yourself and you tell your audience that a cartoon is coming out every week, then you'll find a way to make it work. And then also just letting inspiration come to you as opposed to forcing it. You know, I try to have those moments, like when I'm really feeling it, like five, six, seven cartoon ideas will come to me. Um, that's when I'll really go with it. And then also having the community and reaching out to them, you know. Something that's really important is uh, having a community where they can give you ideas and uh, I'll listen to them, illustrate it, and put it out and get their feedback. So it's been a beautiful thing. So is it that, um, you know, when you're visiting friends and you're outside and you get these inspirations and you immediately write it down, does it work like that? I mean, it's like when we were having lunch, like you said something, I was like, that's a great idea. And uh, it's just like those human moments that are funny but also make you laugh and learn at the same time. It's like they're special. And, uh, and I think that's what makes every well so amazing because it's just so relatable. <laughs> like, often there are times I read it and I'm like, oh my god, that's so true. That's absolutely true. So yeah, that's an amazing thing that's you're amazing. doing and yeah. I know how hard it is to create content. Yeah, so that's yeah, up to yeah, you. no, you know. Um, so the next thing I have, and I'm sure a lot of people wonder, how do you become successful on YouTube? I yeah. mean, there's so many content creators, uh, the market is just so saturated, you know, you see similar content all the time. How do you stand out? What is the, okay, let, let me put it this way. How do you become successful on YouTube? Yeah, well there's no one way and the beautiful thing is with so many people watching there's room for a lot of different content creators to create stuff that will go across genres, you know, different voices, different regions. So just being yourself, I think a lot of people they try to force something they're not when all the camera turns on. Don't do that. Like people listen to you in the real world, like you have friends, like and just think about like viewers as extensions of your friend network. What would you say to them that would be unique and that you could grow the platform and how could you do it in a unique way? Because that's the awesome thing. Like it's uh, there's enough room for everyone to grow. Do you think so? Are there any tips and tricks uh, that helps you get views on YouTube? Yeah, well, I it's, it's more about like how do you build a community, right? I think that it's about consistency, like building an audience, but also respecting that relationship to give them something uh, um, uh, on a constant basis. And I think also just being consistent with your voice, you know, like what, what you're doing and having that focus is almost like a business, right? If you're selling apples and, and you want to like continue to make the best apples, it's going to be tough one day to just all of a sudden like, hey, like here's, here's a bunch of oranges. Yeah. Uh, not saying you can't have the creative freedom to do that, but, but know what your voice is and just hone in and lean into that as much so as possible. So basically being consistent in posting, the timing, yeah. Yeah. consistent in the kind of content totally. you put yeah. out there, yeah. Yeah. and 
perhaps engaging with the community. Oh, absolutely. And then not being afraid to involve your community during, not just after the creative process. Like ask for their input about what they think of a, of a new thumbnail, a video, a new concept, what the next episode should be. Uh, and so like involving them. People love the creative process and uh, sharing that with them is just as exciting as showing the end product sometimes. Absolutely. And, I, and, and it's not easy. Like I remember when I started off on YouTube, Everything seemed so rehearsed, like I almost sounded like a robot because I would write down those lines and say it, but like you said, you have to be relatable yeah, yeah, because that's what people enjoy. Yeah. Okay, my last question for yeah, you, John, yeah, and I know I've taken a lot of your yeah, time, no, no, no. is that a lot of people who have probably seen this video want to work at YouTube, yeah. you know, it's like a dream come true. <laughs> how does one work at YouTube? Like, it's, I know it's a very ambiguous question, but no, how do you get a job at YouTube? Oh, I, there's a lot of different ways. I think uh, using the platform and knowing it is a big one. Like I. I think I got lucky to get a job here because I started making YouTube videos way back when. Um, but you know, there's a job site and like checking out all the different roles and responsibilities because YouTube is not just, you know, like a one dimensional company. It's doing a lot of different things in music, originals, and uh, it's, I think there's, if you're interested in media and entertainment, there's a lot of opportunities and just finding the one that matches with you the best. Uh, could, could be the way to go. Yeah, that's true. And if you know somebody in YouTube and you feel you're a good fit, you know, don't hesitate to ask for a referral, yeah, right? Like, yeah. that's always helped in, yeah, in yeah. the job search. Absolutely. So Absolutely. I think I've asked a variety of questions, yeah. real John, uh, a lot. But, John, anything you would like to say to everyone? No, just keep creating. If you have an idea in your mind, just get it out there. I, I, I promise you, uh, there's an audience and, and, and there's a ton of people who would love to hear what you have to say. And just putting it out there and, and getting out. That's the most beautiful thing about the internet nowadays. Beauty of sure. content creation yeah. and beauty of internet. Yeah, that's how we met. Very, you. very wise words, yeah. John. Yeah, thank you so much and thank you so much for showing me around. Oh, of course. It's, it's definitely going to be one of the most memorable. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, of course, of course. Of course. Yeah, of course.